shop, buy something, and that lady asked me if I want a Macau. I said, why is that? She said, she has one, 10 years old, and she wants to sell it away, resell it. They have, the, they have him seen he was four months old, or four weeks old. So they, he took them as parents. So, yeah, he's a good guy. He's a beautiful man. Yeah, young man, ten, ten, ten months old now. And they feed him beef and chicken and all that. Oh. Oh. That's what they told me. So, but now he loves our, you know, beef jerky, you know, the, the vegetarian one. He loves, he loves apple, he loves cucumber, he loves boiled vegetable. Yeah, everything. <laughs> and he has his own food too, you know. So he has both human and bird food. And he loves everything I feed him. He's a good boy, good, good boy. But he's still, you know, maybe a little scared. He's happy, very happy. It's just that he, he don't... This guy, you know, they don't like strangers too much, yeah? He's taking time to know me still, yeah? So if you touch him, maybe, you know... He, fly away. Yeah, no, he might not. He might bite you, that's the worst. If he flies away, he's good. I intend to free him. When he grows, his feather good and... If he can take care of himself, I ask him whether he wants to go, then he can go. I just keep him meanwhile. You see, he broke all the feather because he was so unhappy. See, yeah. You see, if, if a bird is unhappy, they pluck his own feather, want to die, commit suicide. Yeah. Dogs, if they're unhappy, maybe they survive. You know, they find all the dog or they amuse themselves. Birds, they're very emotional. If you don't treat them well and they're too lonely, you don't have enough time for them, then you don't have a bird, understand? So you cannot just have any pet and then say they'll be happy with you. They might not be. You have to, have to see that you have time enough or love enough to keep a pet, any pet, okay? They demand attention, like kids and like lovers, yeah? Like companions and friends. You must make time for friends. If not, they're very unhappy and they want to commit suicide, yeah? Because in the wild, you know, they have companion. you see? They fly, they have fun, you know, they chase around. But in the captivity, most of these birds that sell in the shop are born in captivity, so they're not used to with the wild. But they also need companion. would be the best if they have their own. But if not, then you are the companion, so you have to replace it with multiple love and, you know, patience. Yeah, they, they just need love, you know, and a little food. They eat very little. And no demanding too much, just love, you know, like petting now and again, you know, like a few hours a day, or so, and be always with them, you know, don't leave them too long in the cage, you know, go crazy. So look at his stage of feather, and you know what his, he was, you know. Luckily, the owner recognized that and want to give him a better home. So, of course, I accept him immediately. I say, of course. She, she say, uh, 900 for all, you know, for him and the cage. I feel so bad. In the shop, he would cost more. He would cost over 1,000 for himself. Yes. So, actually, I took him right away, you know. <laughs> and he's going to have a companion, so he won't be too lonely. <laughs> but his companion is still hand-feeding, you know, still baby still young, so he's not here yet. And the other guy, we also have a companion. I order already for them. Aww. Yeah. And if they, if, if they can grow more feather, you know, because I cut them too short now. If they grow more feather and he grow beautiful again, and if he likes to be free, he can be free anytime. Just uh, some people tell me that they are born in captivity, you know, and they don't know freedom. They don't know how to survive in the wild. And one of our uh, residents told me that his friend used to have one, smaller bird. He escaped one time and came back next day, oh, very bad shape, all oh, bitten and, you know, hungry and fever and sick, because probably they don't know how to defend themselves. See what I mean? Because when they were born in the wild, their parents teach them everything, teach them how to fly, how to get, you know, food, and drink and all that. But uh, when they were born in captivity, like the breeders, they keep them in cage all the time. The parents were also in cage. Probably grandparents, great-grandparents, everybody has been in cage. 
Therefore, if sit down, it's cooler. <laughs> it's cooler. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was going into the the hall, but then everybody come out already, right? So it's cooler here, huh? We can come back in later. Maybe cooler. Because I just want to tell the kid that uh, I brought him here. I brought him here for you to see. And if you kids want to have a bird as pet, have small one. These birds are not for kids. Understand? This bird and the bird I had this morning, they are taboo for you. They can hurt you terribly. One pig and then you are wounded in three places. Because their back is like this, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it bleeds. Yeah, he, he picked me one. You see this still? Still have some? Yeah. You see all these claws? Yeah. Oh, it's healing, but it's... Okay, you see this? So, so you should not touch him, okay? No, he, he, he was just insecure and struggling, but he's okay now. He's a good guy. He's a very beautiful guy. Yeah. And I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Very proud. Yes. He learned good. He's nice. Yeah, that means he's happy. He heard that. He knows that. <laughs> when they pop the feather up like that, happy, happy. Mm. Yes. Yes. I see all the brothers and sisters, how they love you. Don't be scared, okay? We're all beautiful people, just like you are. Mm -hmm. And he adjusts well to vegetarian, no problem. He eat anything I give, anytime. I just bring a piece of mango here. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that's so cute. I bring just a piece of vegetable, you know, boy vegetable, I give him different food. And then he tuk, 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 come right away, I'm waiting, waiting. Yeah, sometimes begging, you know, please, please, please. Yeah, yeah. And if I don't give, he dance or do something. <laughs> Very nice bird. Mm. So I would like you to touch him also, but I think you better not, me, eh? in case he poke you somewhere. Yeah, because I, I still cannot know how he behaves with you. You know, he's upset. You know, well, he's happy now, I guess. But still, we give him time. You know, he's very new, newly adopted kid. <laughs> but he's a big boy. I call him big boy, and he likes that. He's big compared to the other. You know, but now his feather became a little better already. But his, a lot has been broken. He was used to long like this. When I got him, he still had one hanging that long, hanging, you know. Yeah, he, he will grow again, and his feather will be like peacock so long. And when he spread the whole thing out, wow, it's be like heavenly being. He's beautiful. He can say, hello, that's a good guy. Yeah, you're such a good guy. When you talk to animal, you use that kind of high pitch they love. Yeah. When you talk to dog and all that, you have to say, yeah, they like that. Sunny! Hello! You're a beautiful boy! Yes, you're so good, good boy! Everybody loves you! See how much love you have! Yeah! You lose only two people when you have so many, many, eh? Hey? Yeah! Look at Do some dancing! Come on, come on, dancing for us! Come on! Do something! <laughs> <laughs> He's a little nervous. <laughs> See how many people love you. Huh? I tell you, tell you, you deserve love and you have so much here. Oh, a lot, a lot. There are a lot more to come. Everybody loves you, so don't, don't feel bad, okay? Go on living. It's worth it. Beautiful life. Yeah! <laughs> yes. He's a little nervous, you <laughs> know. Otherwise, he can dance, he sing, and he talk. Tell everybody to shut up. <laughs> yeah, he talked not as clear as the other uh, gray parrot. Not as clear. Okay. But he can talk a lot. He can talk. He picks up so well. Hmm. Are you okay now? He turned around, see everybody. Look at that. <laughs> Do something. Do something. Do some dancing for us. He can dance beautifully. No training, just by himself, both of them. I never train them anything. I don't have time. 
Yeah, what I love them and pet them, that's what they need. They're so, so clever, understood everything. Sometimes if he doesn't want to do it, no matter what you say, he just doesn't. Yeah, so you leave him alone. <laughs> when he wants to, he comes. He understood everything. My God! That white bird especially. The first time I met him, she already tuk 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 wanna go home, come and rest in my arm right away. Before that, we talk, we say anything, she just lay in there, you know, <laughs> right flat on the on, on the table. Don't wanna talk, hiding himself. Yeah. So I thought I said to I thought I said to the you know the owner maybe he doesn't like me. <laughs> Maybe I I'm not good for bird. He said, no no she she she, she just may be sleepy or you know they get used to it. So I said okay I give her last time. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to go home with me? And then immediately stood up <laughs> and come to my arm and rest head on my arm like that. Uh, so I had to take her. <laughs> And this guy, I didn't even see him at all. I just walked in the shop, and the lady told me she has a bird like that for sale. <laughs> oh, it's like selling your own kid, no? Ten months for them is a lifetime, because you see, ten months how mature they are already. Not like us, ten month baby don't understand nothing. They understand, yeah. So he he has been, you know, upset. But then, thank God, he he's happy now. He's still getting used to it, I guess. Sometimes upset and cry a little. Yeah, it breaks my heart. Poor guy. Hmm? See how much we love you. Everybody loves you, especially the kids. You have no idea they want to touch you. Would you let them touch you? Would you give us permission? Yes or no? I don't force you. Say yes. Is that okay? Is that not okay? Say okay. No, uh -uh. if you don't say okay, I don't dare. You say okay or not? Say it, not just show it. Say, okay? He can say okay. Sometimes I ask him, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> and sometimes I come home, open it up, ah! <laughs> Both of them, you know, and say, you okay? He asked me, you okay? <laughs> yeah, very funny chap, you know. All right, if you want to have a pet or anything, don't ever abandon them, okay? You have to select the one that matches your personality. Shop around if you want to, because the pounds are full of abandoned pets. Many of my dogs or birds are from the rescue, you no? Because mm. sometimes you go, they go into the shop and saw a cute puppy. Oh, so cute, so cute! <laughs> and then bring home. And later he go into this cute <laughs> and that cute. You know? And then he chew every little cute thing you have in the house. And then, you know, they just throw him out. Dogs or birds, they need training. Some are naturally good. Most of them need training, you know, so that they know what you want in the house, because dogs are different. They pee anywhere they want, they poo anywhere they want, yes. <laughs> but in the house, you know, they don't know. But you have to tell them, they understand everything. My dogs understand everything. I didn't even have time to teach them or anything. I don't believe I just let them free, I just love them, and they understand everything. The small one just came, you know, three months. Tell him no, it's no. Tell him come, he come. Tell him sit, he sit. Nobody train him. He's been in captivity since the day of his birth. He never touched the ground. One of it, six months old, never touched the ground. And when when I brought him home to go in the grass, he was so scared. He don't want to go. <laughs> I named him Hermit because he's so shy, like a hermit. He looked like a sage, you know, beautiful, very sweet, sweet, so affectionate. Always want to curl around on my lap, you know. It's so big, I want to curl around like a lap dog. <laughs> Not a lap dog, you know. I have a small one, Maltese. That's called lap dog because they're small. You can put them on the lap. But all these big one, you know, the rescue dog, they're that big. 
35 or 40 pounds, something. I said, want to be lap dog too? Oh, I need a bigger lap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go around and curl around, you know, and uh, curl. Very nice, nice dog. I don't know how anyone have a heart to throw that dog away. So beautiful and so loving. Yes, so loving and so faithful. Just a few days and they are attached to you right away. If you're kind and love them, they know. They know. Yes, immediately. <laughs> they know who's who. In the house, many people take care, but they know who, who, is the, who is the main character. Yes. And when we go outside, leave him in the car with the driver or something, and when I come back, we have a bunch of people, guests and all that, he greet only me. <laughs> yeah. So I said, my God, they greet only you. I said, dogs are like that, don't you know? <laughs> you know, they love, they like everybody, but they love only at the owner. Yes. They're friendly, but they know where home is. Yes. So, in case you guys sometimes lonely or feel, you know, a puppy is cute or want to go rescue some dogs or cats in the pounds, because if some dog or cat are not adopted after a certain time, maybe one day even, or one week, or two weeks, they kill them. Yeah. They don't waste money to feed the dogs that is unwanted or un unadoptable. They make room for all the more adoptable dogs. That's how it is. Even in one day, a dog can be put to death. Yes. So in case you want to go there sometimes, or you see a dog, and pitiful, you want to adopt, then you have to make it a commitment for twenty years, ten years, twenty years. That's their lifetime. It's not long. But until their last breath, they will be loyal to you. So good, so good, so good. Yeah. The other day I was so angry. There was a poodle over that small, you know, a mini, miniature. When when I got him, he they don't even know his number or anything because he's ready for, you know, wow. because somebody probably didn't want to adopt him or nobody wanted. He'd been there like I don't know, long time. Yeah. So when I brought him there, because he begged me to. I didn't see him. I didn't like Pudo. <laughs> I went there just to give donation. I went some time to different shop, no, different uh, dog center, uh, old people home, you know, these things you don't know. Just by the way, I tell you. Not so that you think I just uh, give donation to dogs. I give it to your kind too, okay? <laughs> no jealousy around here and no criticism. <laughs> And I went there for a uh, gift donation, you know, and anonymous. And I saw this just pass by. Every time I go there, I just go. Sometimes pet some of them if they're petable. Sometimes not. Sometimes they say, don't do it because they bite. Some dog are bad. They've been trained to bite, you know, some bad one. And then the owner blame them for being bad. You see what I mean? Bad training. Many dogs have been trained for hunting, you know, for hurting other animals and all that. They hate it. If you can communicate with animals, they hate this. Yes. They say that if they kill at all, you know, if they want to kill anything because that animal wants to offer his life to him, you know, they agree with each other already, give permission. But these hunting like us, we just go and drive them mad to kill anything, any animal. That's against their principle, dog's principle. Dogs have principle. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, they do have. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they hate it very much. So sometimes they broke loose, you know? But because uh, they broke loose to go and, and look for love, you know, and understanding. But most of the time, this kind of dog, people put them to death immediately. That's all they have. That's the reward they have if they want to go out and seek a new life. <laughs> Terrible. It is. Yes. <sighs> So uh, you see what I mean. So if <laughs> so, I walk there and walk around, you know, like usual, pet them a little bit. And this poodle, my God, that's the ugliest thing I have ever seen <laughs> in my life. He was so ugly. His hair all grown and messed up, you know, matted together, and his color is black and gray like that, a little lighter. Yeah. And his eyes would cake from here to there with all whatever, I don't know. And he can't touch his mouth. He would bite. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I didn't want. I didn't want him. I didn't think I didn't want Puru. Cause Puru, I don't know. I don't like. It. I don't like that look. I never liked Puru. <laughs> I don't like too many dogs by the look. You know, some I do like, but Puru I never liked. I didn't like. Not my type. You know what I mean? I don't hate them or anything. They're cute. I just if I buy a dog, I wouldn't buy a Puru. That's what I, what I mean. But this Puru, not only is a Puru, he's ugly Puru, <laughs> and so old. <laughs> Ugly, yes. <laughs> so you understand. He looks so ugly. Yet that's why nobody wanted him. He stayed there so long already, even past his uh, termination, exterm. Yeah, yeah, termination. So when, uh, but then he begged me. He saw me pass by. Every time I tried to avoid him, he stand up, do comedian, and beg. You know, he kneel on his knee and beg. Look at me like this. <laughs> so the third time, I cannot ignore him anymore. I say, "You are not my type, and you are poodle, and you ugly." But never mind. <laughs> I love you. Okay, let's go home. So he's so happy, happy. But we still cannot touch his mouth. He bites. Anybody touch his mouth, he bites. And we, and then, but later we discover some, you know, uh, bad, very bad things in his mouth. All his teeth are rotten, pearls and blood coming out, and black and blue all over in there. The ex-owner did not take care. They gave him just biscuits or whatever scrap. They don't have nutrition, put him outside. And now that he is so bad shape, they put him to death, put, throw him out. So that's why he, he was so painful, you know. He begged me, but yet anybody touched him. I, I, when I touched him, he don't say anything. But anybody else touched him, he bite, or, he, you know, Slap, not snap them. So that's the reason. Also, maybe people didn't want it. You know, <laughs> some people wanted it him already. I guess that's why they neuterize him, neuter him. Neuter mean you know he cannot have any more baby. Kid, you understand? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but then uh, when I, uh, yeah, that's right. Sit on this side, you can see me better. <laughs> but then probably they didn't want it because he he's not like that. You know, and such a shape, bad shape and bad and ugly. Who wants it? No. So anyway. So we took him home, and we rushed him to the emergency room, and they had to, took, to take the four teeth out immediately. But that's not all. That's not. The doctor said he cannot do more. We have to go to the dentist. And in, in America, there are only two. <laughs> two. Yeah, only two. Special dentists, very expensive. He took 26 more teeth out of him. Three, four hours surgery, laser surgery, take all the teeth and the backbone out, put artificial bone in for him, and you know, and x ray and everything. It's so cute, and we have a good haircut, you know, good salon. <laughs> yeah, for the movie star stuff. Oh, he's so cute, he looked like a lamb. So beautiful, beautiful. And he changed his color too. He's, he's white, he's not gray. <laughs> In the paper, they wrote it gray. So after he's beautiful and clean, I brought him back to the palace and changed, changed <laughs> the color. My food was not gray. He was so sick and so dirty, so bad that he color even changed. Because I put newspaper there for them to poopy, you know. So he, he ro was rolling in his own, you know, you know dirt and, and, and newspaper. That's why he became gray and he smelled terrible. I don't know why I did adopt that guy. Afterward, I still thinking I must be crazy. <laughs> but all the beautiful dogs and young and jumping around, and even puppies in there, cheap. You know, you you adopt them, you pay maybe forty dollars, thirty dollars. You know, it's not much. But in the shop, a puro like that may cost at least six six hundred. You know, six hundred, seven hundred. Hey, guy, you know what that is for, huh? Stop it, Sunny. No. Hey, hey, thank you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, never mind. It's just a plastic. But it's not necessary to do that. You had thousand toys at home. <laughs> Without toys, they're miserable. You know, they are like kids. They need toys, especially puppies. Yeah. Many people, they don't. 
Many people, they don't buy toys for their dogs, so they chew the, the furniture and they, they blame them or throw them out because they say they're incorrigible dogs. They need toys to chew because their teeth are itchy, itchy. You know, they, they're born, you know, like wolf-like, so they need to always uh, clean their teeth or sharpen their teeth, or, you know, otherwise their teeth will grow too long and they can't bear it. So they need something to chew, something very hard, very hard. I have a dog, anything he chew. There was something we called indestructible toys made for these kind of dogs, but he destroyed in no time. Just minutes and it's bye bye. He eat them all. Some people tell me, sometimes, you know, we don't have uh, mineral water handy, so I give him tap water. And some people say, Oh, my, my attendant used to with seeing me giving mineral water. He said, Don't give him tap water. Is it clean enough? Is there some bacteria in there? I said, Don't worry. This dog, he will kill the bacteria before he even. <laughs> open his mouth. <laughs> All the bacteria just listen, just see this dog and they're trampling, they die already in advance. <laughs> yeah. It's so strong, so strong. They just pour you and then you're down on the floor. It's so small, they're so small, but they're so strong. I don't know how, why they're so strong like that. Mm. Huh? I may be healthy. Yeah, vegetarian food now, I eat all vegetarian. Oh, so healthy, so strong, so strong. Beautiful dog. <laughs> see, see, if no toys is like that. I forgot to bring toys for you. I thought we'd just come say hello and come up again. He loves our vegetables. He eats like heaven every day. Every day is the best day of his restaurant. <laughs> every food is a good meal, good meal. Eat, eat, eat. Mm. Very good boy. Yeah, birds, they don't eat meat that much. So why are they giving beef and chicken? Stupid. It's like giving a bird to another bird, you know? And even proud of it. Tell me, he loves beef and chicken. <laughs> I say, yeah, if he doesn't have anything else. The same like the poodle, you know? They feed him all kind of garbage. Uh, like, not nutritional, you know? Or if the doctor tell me if, if you feed the dogs with all meat diet, he will have teeth like that too. Even all meat, he have teeth like that. And so you have to brush their teeth. Yeah, we have to do that. Dog teeth, brush. They have toothbrush and everything. Yeah. So if you want to buy dogs, or if you, <laughs> hey, quiet. I'm talking. Okay, you can listen. It's not your turn yet. You talk all day already at home. <laughs> uh, if you want to buy a pet or if you want to rescue some, you know, if somebody give to you, you know, you have to know in advance whether you can commit, okay? It's a living creature. It's a being, just like us. Exactly. You understand? They're just a little more gifted with their intuition and sharper faculty. You understand? Mm. So it's like being, you understand? Sometimes when you look into their eyes, my God, you feel the message coming, they're equal. Mm -hmm. Just like different kind of trees, but they're all trees. Different kind of beings, they're all beings. Just different, understand? Just like we Chinese, you're American. He's a parrot, we're human. You understand the, the meaning? Exactly the meaning, you understand? <coughs> they're not lower than you, because they're so intelligent, they have intelligence. It's just that they don't need so much complicated computer like we do have, because they don't need it. Now they're more free. They fly, they eat anything, yeah? Their life is more free. Mm. Uh, we human, you know, do different things, so we need more <laughs> instruments. Yeah. But still, we are not much better off sometimes. You see how they cut the feather like that? It will grow again. Yeah. I don't know, if he wants to go, he can go. If he's safe enough, I let him go free later. I told him, but I don't know if he likes to. After I told him that, he didn't speak to me for three days. <laughs> I don't know what he really wants. You know, he feel he's so angry with me, I don't know what. Not that I don't want you, just, just you have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're a bird, you can fly. If you want to enjoy that freedom, you can. 
I thought a bird would be nice to fly, you know, and free. If I am a bird, I would like to fly. I am a human and I would like to fly also. <laughs> I talk about a bird, right? So I thought I'd give him a free choice, but he didn't speak to me for three days. I don't know. I tell him like that and then he just turned his head and walked in the other direction. I tell him, come here, come here, he go further. <laughs> Whenever I come near, he go to the other place. I go here, he go there again. Yeah. Yeah, you are a character. I don't know why is he upset. Why should you be upset if you have your freedom, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you like to hang around, it's okay. <laughs> we have a lot of food and love for you if you want to hang around. I just thought maybe you want to be free, like a bird. <laughs> She's so beautiful, huh? He should be more beautiful when he grow his tail feather like that, and all his feather grow back, and you know, no plucking around like that. See, some of them are not like that. <laughs> okay, so you have to consider, huh? If you adopt one or buy one, don't ever throw them out. Think of some better solution if it's too much trouble, but never, never throw them out because it hurts them very much. People think animals don't have feeling. They do. Very deep, very deep. That's why you know many story dogs, they die with their owner. After the owner dies, they die together. They don't eat. Yeah, they stay, they stay next to the tomb for many days and they die also. Or they keep coming back to the tomb and laying there. Yeah. Horse also. Yeah. Cats, some cats, you know. I know a friend in Germany, whenever he's away, his cat never eats. <laughs> so I'll wait until he comes back and eat. Yeah. The poodle now, huh? If I leave him outside alone and I don't take care of him, then he don't eat at all. He keeps barking. Yeah. <laughs> and wag tails. Barking and wake until I have to come. He don't eat nothing. Normally he's a oh he eats a, like a wolf, that guy. Anytime anything he eats. He's he's small but he eats more than the other big dogs. But whenever I don't I leave him outside, you know, for some times. If he's bad or something, you have to go outside, then he don't eat. He went on strike. No drink, no eat. Nothing. <laughs> and when he comes in the south, inside the house, he looks for food. <laughs> Whatever left over for all the dog, he go eat, 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 eat. I said, huh? I thought you're not hungry. <laughs> okay. Oh, so remember, huh, kids? Huh? If you ask your parents for for pet or something, you are responsible for all life until he die, naturally. Understand this, guys? Yeah, for everybody, adult also. Yeah, in case you go out and see a cute puppy, a cute kitten, or a cute bird, and want to take it home, it's not a toy you can exchange. Next day, it's a living being, and once you accept him, he accepts you too. You know what I mean? like a partnership, yeah, they're very loyal. <laughs> the pounds are full of abandoned, beautiful beings, like those, my dog. Uh, I named that Puro Lucky because the counter, the, the desk counter told me that, Oh, you want to adopt this guy? Oh my God, couldn't find him anywhere, <laughs> no record anymore. He's lucky, he's supposed to to die already. That's why I named him Lucky. <laughs> yeah. And then when we took him to the doctor and all that, and they asked, why is his mouth in such a state? I've never seen such a bad state before. So I had to tell him the whole story, you know, because the doctor would blame me otherwise. They said, no, no, I just got him two days ago. <laughs> so, and we make an appointment with the dentist. We told him, this is, you have to do it right away because he's so painful he couldn't eat. He couldn't bark, he couldn't even open his mouth, we couldn't even touch him. So the doctor said, okay. Yeah. So I had to tell the story and he said, my God, he's really lucky <laughs> to have you, that's what he meant, to have me. <laughs> so we keep his name lucky. He has to have a name, you know. Mm -hmm. And the other guy, the other guy, when he saw me, oh, he's so happy, happy, you know. He was just like this and when he saw me pass away, oh, he suddenly like, ah, oh, it's you. You know, and he's German, he wag his tail and all over, you know. 
But he doesn't do that to everyone else. So I thought he recognized something. She is a she. I said, okay, I'll come back. All right? He was so happy. But then when I say I come back and I turn my back, he dropped back again. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and later I have to come back because sometimes they don't let you adopt right away, you know. Yeah, you have to go through procedure or maybe weekend or he has not been neutered or spayed, you know, like um, what they call it, castration. Then they don't, don't let you take him home because they don't want to spread any more dogs. They have enough already. Every four seconds, one dog dies in America, die by needle injection. Euthanized, they call it, right? Yes. Every four seconds. Since this morning, I don't know how many die already in miserable like that. But people still take dogs home and then abandon them. Sometimes they get lost also. So dogs need to be like tattoo, have chip, microchip, and have color. Whenever you take them out, they need to have a color with name tags and rabbit tags and everything on it. Because if your dog don't have a rabbit tag, the dog controller can put him to death right away because they worry they might have a rabbit. You know, that's a very dangerous disease for dogs and for humans too. So he needs to have all this when he goes out. Yeah, because you, sometimes you leave him in a car, he open the car and go out. My dog opened the crate and you walk out at night anytime. <laughs> and the crates are so strong, you know, double lock. I don't know how they open the lock and just walk out and say, Hello, I'm here. <laughs> I'm just taking a walk. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I, you know, like uh, confine them because they pee not in a designated area. You know, but of course it's not like angry or anything, but sometimes they forgot or too excited or too anxious or anything. They just pee in the house. So I said, bad boy, go in there. Five minutes, he come out walking around, waking his tail like nothing happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. All over me, all over again. Like I have never scolded him or anything. Yeah. But he understands. Sometimes if he did it, he will crouch around and put his tail behind, you know, between his legs. But if he's not, if he's some other dog, then he just walk around. I don't know what you're talking about. Who, who, who is that? Who is that? You know, like, yeah. So you know who, who did it exactly. There's no need to, to ask second time. You should ask all of them, any of them crouch around, put the tail be, be, between the legs, then that's the guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because they understood so much. They understood also by telepathy. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes I just tell them by picture, you know, tell them inside my mind, my, 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 but have to send them like a picture, like an, an image of what you want. Then he knows right away. Don't even need to talk. Yeah. Just like if I, uh, I eat sometimes, they already fed before, you know. Sometimes we feed them first from our food, and then whatever left over we eat. <laughs> I told you sometimes because the doctor I say, "What do you feed him?" You know, because sometimes they check it out. You know, what feed us? They say, they say, "Well, he eat what we eat, but he has also dog food. You know, and vitamin for dog and everything else, oil, mineral oil for their, for their, for their how say, fur, yeah." to make it shy and don't lose it and all that, and not itchy. But he eats with us too, you know. In the morning he eats uh, the dog food because have a lot of vitamin and all kind of combination in it, you know. I wonder if our food even as nutritious as that. So we had, we had to give him half of the day, you know, like two times, one time dog food. <laughs> so the doctor asked me what he eat, what he eat. I say, well, he eat what we eat. Say, you mean scrap from the table? I say, no, 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 we, we cook a lot. and then. The dog eats first and we eat leftover. <laughs> because he think he think we feed him just leftover, you know. He said, No, no, we eat his little, their leftover. <laughs> it's not like that, but we divide, you know, we give them first sometimes so that they are depends on the time. If it's their time, then we feed them first. But after eating, if I sit and eat it still come and you know, dog eyes, you know, begging, begging, uh, kneel, kneeling and begging and all that stuff, you know. And looking with your eyes like, 
why you treat me this way? You know, <laughs> can I just have a taste? You know, <laughs> I thought we are a member of family, you know, <laughs> thing like that. So we had to give them something. Hmm. So sometimes I'm fed up, you know, because I ate a lot. I give them everything already before I ate, and I just sit down and want to have some peace and quiet. And all of them hang around and begging eyes and kneeling on the floor and begging and all kind of stuff, you know. So I'm fed up with it. Anyone scold them. And sometimes they drool on my hand and I have to wash my hand again, you know. But I love to feed them, you know. They love the table food because love. It's not because they're hungry. That's why all the begging, you know, and drooling <laughs> and then, you know, pitiful eyes and all that. They love to be fed by hand. It's love. So that day I'm tired. I had enough and I fed all day already, you know. It's a bad day. So I just sit there and think it. Why don't I think in my head only? Why don't you guys go and get some bones and chew it and, you know, do something? And then, you know, one of them went and fetched a bone and show all the other, you're chasing her, you know, to the bone area. Nyla bone, you know, those in indestructible bones. Those specially made for <laughs> strong dogs. They made you an island or some special secret secret uh, ingredient, they say. <laughs> so they, they go and fetch a bone and chew them. Yeah. Some of them do, some of them don't, because sometimes they're lazy. They know it. They just don't want to go. I don't want those plastic bones. I want these real food. <laughs> but they want those uh, good ones, you know, they went and fetch a bone and chew it right away. Very telepathic, you know. I didn't even talk. I just think in my mind only, and then you go get it right immediately. Yeah. If we uh, human can have such ability, huh? It would be much better for us, eh? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's for kids stuff. <laughs> but it's also nice for you to know if you buy kids, you buy your kids' pet, you let them know what the responsibility it is, eh? It's not just fun looking in the shop, you didn't have to do anything. Wait until you have to scoop his pool and wipe his pee, especially his puppy. If you want to buy puppy, buy that around six months. At that time they can control their bladder better. If you buy about younger than that, oh, you keep cleaning all the time. Yeah. Birds, they, if they want to sell you too young, better don't buy, because you have to feed them by siren, siren and sometimes you can choke them to death. He almost lost his life at ten weeks old because the ex-owner bought him at four weeks and fed them by himself, and he almost choked to death. death. Luckily, the, the seller, you know, rushed back and because he's expert, he'd be able to help him. Otherwise, bye bye already, Sonny. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> now he's more comfy now. He talks. <laughs> he's so cute and beautiful. So dignify, huh? Yeah. When do all your feathers come back? Hello. Are you okay? Are they funny people? <laughs> Sometimes he laughs also now. Laugh a lot. Both of them, when both of them laugh, yeah. when both of them laugh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you better buy the bird when they already win them, yeah? yeah. Mean you don't, like, <laughs> mean they can feed themselves, yeah? <laughs> feed themselves, yes, yes. <laughs> and dogs, uh, if you buy them around six months, it's better for you. You don't have to clean too much, and you can send them for training. You know, two weeks, sit, come, go. You know, because it's also important. Oh, wow. What is all that? Huh? <laughs> he talks something, it's just we don't understand yet. <laughs> if you didn't eat too much beef, you would have talked better. <laughs> but I don't blame you. You didn't have any choice. Right, I know. Okay, no choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just have to educate them, okay? Not to talk bad about you, so that they know and they love you. 
Hmm? Okay, they know your story and they love you. Okay. Um, the other day, he, when he first came, he was so angry. Mm -hmm. He was, oh, you know, shouting very loud and screaming and crying loud. And no matter what I say, he didn't shut up. I didn't shut up, yes. <laughs> so I come and tell him, don't bother about your ex-family, okay? They don't want you. That's why you are here. I have to take care of you because they don't want you. I didn't mean to hurt him. I just want to tell him the situation. And then he was so upset. He cried and he plucked his feather immediately. <laughs> oh, God, I was so scared. I said, no, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that way. I mean, don't bother about them, you know. They're not worth it. Now you are here, we love you. So he calmed down. Yeah, so he understand. He understand. Yeah. understand exactly what we're talking about. So don't hurt animals' feelings. If you have pet or if you want to have pet, you have to consider many things, okay? Be responsible. You can buy books and study in advance. For example, if you like uh, Macau, you know, his type, then you have to buy a book, Macau, and study his personality, his ability, his binding with human, how to make him happy, how to make you happy together before you buy it. See? Because there might be many facts you don't know about a bird. Maybe he's too messy, he's very loud, your neighbor will complain. Yeah. Some people have to give birds away because they scream so loud, the neighbor complains. They do not scream if they're happy, but they do sometimes if you cross them. Yeah. Like you don't pet them enough, you know, you've been away too long. Uh, you know, something happened. Uh, too noisy in the house, too many bad uh, people coming and going, and some dogs screaming and all that, they don't like it. And some birds can imitate well, they can bark like dogs, and that would be terrible. <laughs> Whenever anybody comes, he barks, bark, bark, bark. Bird, bark, bark, bark. <laughs> very loud. <laughs> and you know, it can be you know, sc screaming and very high pitch, you know, and very loud, you know. Oh my God. Like blood curling kind of scream. And so your neighbor might complain too. <laughs> He's not screaming at all, but when he does, my God, I have to plug my ears. Yeah, that loud and very scary. They don't scream anymore, both of them now. When they first came, they did sometimes, complaining. Don't, don't know what's going on, and, you know, upset. Yeah. <sighs> Are you happy now? Are you happy now, Sonny? Happy? Are you happy? Yeah, okay. There is a story in in uh, there is a story about about a gray parrot, a gray African parrot. In the book called Chicken Soup <laughs> for Animal Lovers, they should say lover of animals. <laughs> Animal lovers <laughs> so bad. <laughs> and there is a the parrot who. Uh, Uh, there was an owner you know, who bought a parrot, and then after a while, uh, she went on holiday for a long time. And when he came back, the parrot don't want to talk to her, always turn his back, run to the other corner whenever he wants. She wants him to come out. And before that, she keep, keep telling, teaching him to say, I love you, I love you. He never said it. But, uh, and then after she came back from holiday, the parrot don't talk to her. Don't come into her hand like usual. Always run to the other corner. Yeah. So he keep, she keep pleading, pleading with him, talking sweet talk, and swear never leave him alone again. And, all that. and then finally, the fifth day, uh, he okay. He forgave her. <laughs> so he come out and curl into her arm and say, "I love you." <laughs> First time and always from that day. Yeah. And before that, she tried to teach him at Christmas time. Tried to teach him. To sing uh, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. He never sing. Teach him for one week long. He never utter any word. He always say, "Wow!" After he, <laughs> after she finished teaching, he always say, "Wow!" That's it. <laughs> so the owner gave up. Say, "Oh, you stupid bird! You can never make a tune anyway. Forget it." On the Christmas day came the night, 
Then the moment she cut the ribbon or something so to to begin the ceremony, he sings jingle bell at that at that second, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes they just don't want to show what they know. So whenever I tell him to talk, sometimes he likes to, sometimes he doesn't. Depends on how I deserve it. <laughs> if I earn it with a piece of good mango or not. <laughs> Okay, guys, see you later, huh? Any more que- Any new people? Newcomer today? Ah, okay. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, you want to come up here, the newcomers today? You probably haven't seen me much. Come over here. Here, here, here. Ah, today the chair is a little backward. It's better, better. Come over here in case you would like to ask some question. It's fine. Yeah. Welcome. Feel good? Eaten? Yeah? Have you eaten good? Huh? Nhớ lần sau là nhớ quá lần sau. Huh? First we speak Vietnamese. No? You like that? No. Nhớ quá là nhớ sao? Sao có chồng của con, có bà con không sao muốn nhớ nhớ tôi gì, tôi người dân mà. Hả? Kiểu người dân nước lạ. Không có bà con ở đây hả? Ồ, ta lấy mình làm bà con hả? À, thì ra thế hả? Hey, you okay? You sit too far? You okay there? The Africans, Americans, uh, whatever, they have longer legs. <laughs> you want to sit in the front, it's all right. You want to sit over there, it's okay. It's okay? Oh. If you feel bad, you can stretch your legs, you know, no, no problem, casual. Any question? No? Oh, that's cool, you can go back to... <laughs> yes? Thank you for taking my question. I have been a long-time meditator for, for a couple of decades. Um, I had another master for a while, and I walked with that master, and then he, he left this physical life. And for many, many years, I have not had the, the guidance of a, of a teacher, of a master. And through God's grace, I came to know about you and I have been trying for some time now to, to, to do the new meditation. Oh, and it's a different one? That it's you a different, have, yeah. Yes, it's a different one. And I feel just turmoil about that. You um, feel what? I feel turmoil about that, about oh. changing to a new meditation. Yes. I have been doing this when I was initiated just a month ago. Yes. And I have been doing the new meditation, but I feel a loss. I feel like, like my friend is gone. My old meditation, you know, was good for me for all these years, but I did not have any guidance. I did not, not have anyone to, to help me with that practice. Right. I am so thankful to, to have come to know about your teaching and about this new practice, but I need some help in, in making a good transition so that my heart is in the new practice. Um, I don't feel the same... Mm, the same kind of of God's presence that I felt in the old practice, and it oh. disturbs me. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so I want to know what you can suggest for me. Mm-hmm. How long ago? How long ago that your master has left? Oh, he's been in 1984, a long oh. time. Mm-hmm. Mm. You want to go back to the old practice? I want, to, I want to be established in the new practice. I believe that this practice will lead, lead me to enlightenment, and that is what I so want in my soul, to have that. And but so, you have to, have to uh, let, uh, put down the, you know, the attachment to yeah. the old yeah. way of practicing. Yeah. It's very, very uh, noble to remember your master with all love and fondness. Yeah, for his kindness, for whatever he has taught you. Yes. But if you keep uh, hanging on there, <laughs> mm-hmm. then we have a little trouble. Mm-hmm. Is you are too faithful. 
and loyal. Mm -hmm. And this is very noble. But if you practice well in your new spiritual um, as a meditation, your master will be more than pleased. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. So if you, if you still have any doubt, go home and pray to him. Okay. Yes. And say, you know, Master, you've gone, yeah, I miss you a lot, and <laughs> please come back and tell me whether I'm doing okay here <laughs> with a new Master. Yeah, and then you will feel his guidance. Even though he left, he doesn't always completely, you know, like, go away. Mm. Yeah, because we are spirit, we are not body. Yeah? yeah. So if you really feel uh, your how you say, filiality, <laughs> filial devotion to him has not waned out. You better ask him, yeah? Yeah. To maybe just kind of courtesy also for your own heart, say that. I have to move on, okay? And then you, you will improve better. And when you are meditating in this practice, you should feel God in your heart, yes? It's not in your heart, no. Oh. Not in your heart. There is a presence, no. uh, there is the love and there is security. Mm. And sometimes you, it's not a feeling only, you see God mm. and you see light and you hear the God's word. Do you have this light and the sound? Yes, some. You do? Yes, but I don't feel heart connection. You don't feel God connection? Or heart mm. connection. There are many levels, yes? There's levels of uh, practice. Sometimes feeling is, is still in some kind of uh, astral level, you know, like emotionally yeah. attached, emotionally uh, involved, yeah? So if you uh, forget that feeling, you will be more expanded, yeah? Uh, not just feeling the presence of God, but you will feel like you are one with God. Mm. Yes. You don't feel the separation, mm. you know, like between I have God and I know He's there for me. That is some kind of level, okay? But if we keep attached to that, it's still duality, yeah? Mm. So you just move on to the next, okay? okay? Yes. Continue to meditate. If you see the light, then it's okay. It guides you to a higher, higher dimension. Just like you have a torch, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you hear the sound, that's God's teaching. It's not in human language, but it will make you feel wiser and wiser. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Thank in the you. beginning, we, we all have doubt. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Especially when uh, you had a good teaching before. Yes. And if your master was very kind mm -hmm. and uh, spoiling, <laughs> pampering yeah. students, yes. then it's hard to forget. Yes, but that is emotionally attachment, emotional attachment, mm -hmm. yes. It is very good to have such a gracious master, mm -hmm. yes. But he would want you to move on, okay. to progress, so that you can see him in a higher level later okay. on. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes, thank you so much. Yes. Okay. If you still doubt, pray to your, your master and you will, you will, you will uh, say, receive his message. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. He would say, okay, okay, please, please, go, quick, quick. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next one. Mm -hmm. You are lucky, have, have had good master. Mm -hmm. And now have a good one too. They, they say so. <laughs> Actually, I'm very humble, you know. It's just, they told me what and I believe what. <laughs> Okay, anyone else? Yes, sir. Okay, he first. Right. Uh, I have a question. Um, sometimes I have like a negative thoughts, and uh, when, I, when the negative thoughts like come, I try to tell myself, you know, uh, don't think about it, uh, to be single positive and believe in God, everything will be all right. Mm. But sometimes still like comes, you know, because, for example, you some like niches tells you some of their problems. Maybe I'm afraid like I will have the same problem. Who? Oh, who tell you about it? Just no, just people. Um, for example, like uh, you know, other niches are asking questions, ah. 
and tell their problems.、Uh-huh. Sometimes, like I'm afraid, I will have the same problem. You don't. Just, Why just, are you afraid? I don't know. Like sometimes, just have like this kind of negative thoughts,、uh-huh. and I try to tell myself, you know, don't be afraid to be positive.、Uh-huh. Believe in God. Believe、oh, in God. You mean、master. you、uh, afraid you would have the same problem, or you don't? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I understand. Yes. yes. Okay. So, so that is good, and everybody have same problem, <laughs> and you're not too lonely. <laughs> so why why are you so afraid of? We are human, you know. <laughs> Even though we are God, but we are in the human body. It's okay, my God. Relax. <laughs> I have a lot of problem. I don't want to tell you. I don't dare. You have heart attack. <laughs> but I love my problem too. I love myself. Everything about myself, I love. <laughs> so I just let it go. It's okay. Sometimes I like to eat bread. Other time I like to eat potato. It's okay. Yeah. God loves you, no matter what. Don't care. Don't worry. Don't worry. Really, just leave. My God, go out, have a girlfriend, do something before you old like me, and then nobody wants anymore. <laughs> Yes, life is short. Okay, enjoy your time, enjoy your life. Do your meditation and enjoy. Enjoy whatever little short time we are here. Just like you go to the movies for half an hour, but please enjoy for God's sake. You know, don't go there and think, oh, this is just a movies. You know, after half an hour we'll be gone, and what should I watch it for? It will end anyway. It's okay. It's not real. Just enjoy it. Okay. So just enjoy, you guys, please. Oh, go do something. Yeah, enjoy your life while while it lasts. Right as well, huh? Yeah. If you go to the movies, even though you know it's not real, we enjoy, no? Sometimes, huh? Yeah. Don't worry too much. You okay, okay, okay. Even if you're not okay, who cares? <laughs> do you care if it's not okay? Huh? You care or not? No, nobody know who you are. You are nobody. Okay, <laughs> and that's the best thing about it. <laughs> be, be, be blessed. You know, feel feel happy that you are nobody, <laughs> and nobody cares what you do. You're free, completely free. So just freak out, free yourself, do whatever. <laughs> oh my God, I feel sorry for you guys. Sometimes you're too serious. My goodness. As if your president worrying about an extra material affair or something. <laughs> Nobody cares, okay? Yeah, your soul is perfect.、Hmm? Always, always. So whatever role you have to play here, it's okay, right? Next one. <laughs> Are you still afraid? <laughs> okay. Huh? Be a man. Huh? Be a man. <laughs> But you, you, you are not afraid at all. I don't think you're afraid of anything. You don't have any problem. Look, the, just yesterday I said, "Well, you can come any time," and then you just come here like that, you know, so quick. Yeah, I'm so surprised. I'm so pleased. You know, I'm so pleased that you come. I was just feeling sorry for you guys. That, you know, we, it's so quick, and <laughs> we don't have enough staff here to take care of you. Yeah. But you're okay. You survive, right? You're still here, right? You live, <laughs> and it rains even. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You didn't bring raincoat or nothing, right? No such thing. You didn't think it rains. Oh, it does. Rains a lot since you came. <laughs> Must be a joke God made on us. <laughs> This time He knows we're not prepared.、Huh? We have no food. We have no tent. <laughs> We have not enough housing. We have not enough staff here, <laughs> and we not we don't have rain coat or anything. <laughs> it just rain. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so next time, if you want it rains, you do the same stuff. <laughs> yes, sir. Hi, master. Hi, sir. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Me too. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I... How have you been so far? Oh, wonderful! Ever since initiation, I've been very, very happy and very high in the、uh-huh. spirit. Of Good. Very much love for everybody, my inner master and everyone. Good. God is everywhere. <laughs> ah, wonderful! That's very good to hear. Right. 
I've been working on a little stress issue in my mind, uh -huh. and I, I trust the good energy, the, the void, the zero that is there, the illusion. I know it's there. I know it's not real, uh -huh. but somehow it still sneaks up and displays itself, and, and it's a fallacy. Sneak and I thinking nonsense, right? Yes, yes, okay. nonsense. Uh -huh. You want some of mine? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have plenty. <laughs> Maybe higher than mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm just a normal person like you are. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference between you and I. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the difference. Enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If, if whatever the mind thinks, just let it go. Let it think. Don't care. Yeah? Go do something else. Okay? For example, uh, but sometimes it can be bothersome, huh? If you keep thinking, thinking again and again about some stupid thing, uh, it can be bothersome. You get up, get up, do some yoga exercise and go to sleep quick. You mean at night it bothers you guys a lot? Yeah? Or what? Does the nonsense thinking bother you at night or in daytime? Hmm? Daytime. Daytime also? Yeah. How? You must be working. How it bothers you? Oh, when I work, I, I don't get Okay, the then work, work, work. Just continue working. That's a good solution. <laughs> Otherwise, if at night it bothers you, I have a solution. So do some yoga practice and you go to sleep. But at night you just sleep, huh? Right? It's funny. Daytime you worry. Nighttime you should meditate, but then you went to sleep. <laughs> so what can we do? Can you hear me? Oh, it's got one room in my ears. This. So that's your problem, right? Oh, we yes. have the same problem. Hmm? No, I don't care. Just, just do something else. For example, when you are too frustrated with your, you know, ongoing thinking about any stupid things, go do something else. Go read a book. Yeah, or go watch TV even, or go to the movies, or take a walk in the park, do some jogging, take the dog for a walk, go see girlfriend, you know, go have a coffee in, on the beach. Yeah, anything, anything just more creative, more productive. Go paint a picture, even though it's lousy, who cares? <laughs> just for you, yeah? Yeah. Just for fun. Do anything more creative. Don't let the mind waste your time and energy. Sit there thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's a good thinking, you let it. If it's not good thinking, you say, "Aha, cut you." <laughs> I'm gonna do something else. You know, go clean your car even. Sometimes your car needs a good cleaning. Now clean the house for your wife. Go buy some rolls for her just for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, thing like that. It's happier than sit there. Oh, it can be very exhausting if you sit there and let the, let the wandering mind think in nonsense. Very empty. It's very depleting. See, remember? Let's go do something else right away, right away. Yeah? That's why uh, we say the empty mind is the uh, devil's works workshop. <laughs> so we should all find something to do, do some work, yeah? And if you still have a lot of time, go get some dogs, they will, they will keep you busy all day. <laughs> That's it? Nothing else? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess part of the aspect is isolation, you know, and the problem, part of the problem is isolation. Isolation. Yeah, that I sneak up, and uh, although I'm, I feel close to people, the, the issue when it comes up, I feel sort of isolated. I know it's good to give up desire and, and be more inner spiritual, but uh -huh. isolation, this sort of isolation is negative, it's not the positive one. Oh. Then why don't you get a company? company. Yeah. yeah. You don't have wife? <laughs> no, no, no. Have a girlfriend. 
No? No, I don't have and one. Go get one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> get a dog. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. All right. Okay. Get a dog, get a bird, get a cat, whatever you like. Yeah. They will give you a lot, a lot of love and, and affection and company, more than you can imagine. Okay, yeah. all right. But I have to think about it. Yeah. You have to think of what you like, okay? You okay. like a woman, get one. <laughs> Not yeah. as a pet, but uh, yeah. company. Yeah. <laughs> if you like a company, you can have dog, cat, bird, you know, whatever. Okay. They're very okay. lovely. Right. They're not demanding. Just fed them, pet them, they're okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. No need Christmas shopping, no need diamond. Okay. Yeah. Just dog food, cheap. <laughs> Yeah, a few cents per day. Yeah. You have a companion, a companion who is so loyal, so loving and devoted. If you cannot have a girlfriend, have a dog hmm? or a cat. Yeah, really, will make you feel good. Okay. <laughs> but you have to take care. Remember, when you go on holiday, difficult. You can keep them in a boarding, boarding place. You know, it's, they're biting too, you know. You have to be there for them all the time. Yeah. There, there's always responsibility. Yeah, whatever you have, it comes <laughs> in a package, you know. <laughs> it's not, not free, it's not free. <laughs> Dogs are a lot of work. Cats are easier, but they shed a lot of hair. I had a friend before, an acquaintance, and he has a cat. It's just a body size, normal cat. When I went in his house, balls and balls and balls like this of hair everywhere. I don't know how he managed to make so many balls of hair. Oh, it's just a tiny little body. I asked him, how, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> he kept him in the house all the time, cannot go out. That's why they shred and shred and shred. <laughs> dogs also. Some dogs don't, some dogs do. Some, if you're busy, you get a short hair dog, <laughs> for example, or a short hair cat, but they don't shred too much. If you're not busy, you can have any dog you want, but it depends on lifestyle and everything, you know. If you're very lonely and you like companion, 24 hours, you get a chihuahua, you know. Not much work, only that big, like a rat. He go everywhere with you in the pocket. He loves body contact, twenty-four hours a day. Not much work. His hair is well that short. He almost have no hair, <laughs> and he's so small. He fit in the pocket, traveling, traveling size. <laughs> can go anywhere. For example, like that. If you feel lonely, oh, he's the one. He, he can always make you feel so needed and so loved. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people have an animal's companion because of this, yes. They feel so good, so good afterward. Yeah. Want to try that? I, I've got four little girls that I'm teaching, and I get tremendous love from teaching and helping them. Uh-huh. To te- yeah. Yeah, at the but center. you say you isolate. English, English well, uh, just a little feeling that Different. I haven't been able to manifest love through. Uh-huh. Yeah, to then get a girlfriend or da 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 da. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. But remember, everything comes with a package. Okay. Mm-hmm. A girlfriend is even more complicated than dog or cat. <laughs> She's not there just for feeding, <laughs> for all kind of thing. You know, like well, <laughs> look at me, and you know. <laughs> ah, it's difficult to find someone that you like and like you and have the same level. So that's why most people feel very lonely. Even when they have a partner, they still feel lonely because they can't understand each other. It's difficult. But you can always try. <laughs> a lot of people put advertisement on newspaper, you know. <laughs> You can put one yourself, <clears throat> spiritual practitioner, single white male. <laughs> ah, what else, what else? 
Yeah, that's it? Yes, yes, that's it. Um, okay. Appreciate wow. that. It's um, easy. Yeah. Your question is so easy. <laughs> Anybody available there? Single, white, male? <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a single white female, no five hyperactive kids, no three dogs. <laughs> you don't understand this. You don't understand what I'm saying, huh? No, it's because I say you that you don't need dogs or cats. Very confusing. You don't need dogs or cats or a lover. You're enlightened. Oh, I do. And, and you're independent on your own and you're happy, except the devotees, they sort of drag you down a little bit sometimes, but otherwise you're completely happy. So, uh, Why should I advise you that, right? I, yeah, I see you in my heart and I think maybe I can favor you in my heart. Oh, that's cool too, but then it, it doesn't help you to feel less isolated, no? Does no. it? No. You say you feel isolated and you feel lonely, so I advise you to have a company. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you don't feel it, I don't advise you. I don't know if the aspect is related to. Uh, it's up to you. It's up companionship, to you. or if it's just related to nonsense. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's difficult to find a, a, a partnership, though. Yeah. It's just difficult. It's not like it's bad. It's just very difficult to find a good one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yes. It That's is. why I say, well, then you get a dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's simple. <laughs> you just show up <laughs> yeah. and he's happy. Yeah. I don't against living alone or I don't against living with someone. Uh -huh. You see, whatever you choose, as long as you practice and you're happy, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's no extreme, no one extreme or another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing like that. Everyone is an individual, you see? Everyone has his own life to live. Everyone has his own need mm -hmm. and spiritual level different. So I cannot advise everybody the same thing. I cannot tell you to live the way I live. Yeah? I love animals, you don't know that? Yeah. yeah. I don't need them, but I love them. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when they love me, I also feel very good. Love is always good, <laughs> especially unconditional love, simple love, like the love of the animal. Feel good, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. I think there are some... Uh, Oh, I don't know. You, you guys take care. <laughs> Sometimes uh, there are some society, you know, they can have like fostered animal or something, so you can try if you like them or not. Yes. Meanwhile, you know, like waiting for other home, maybe they can let you take them home for a while or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And train them <laughs> and give them to someone else later or give it back to them. Yeah. yeah. I, I think my doubt that I showed you was <clears throat> uh, you what? my doubt that I showed you was uh, just a block before, but are you starting to get through to me now that this would be a good thing, this love of, of different forms and combinations. This would uh, get through the block into yeah. re reality. Nothing to be confused about, you know. I'm wearing dress, but I'm not telling you to wear a dress. <laughs> So even if I don't need animals, I couldn't tell you the same. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing paradoxical about what I say. Just for different people, I say different things. Yeah. Okay? Any more? Any of you guys? No. Next uh, woman? Nothing? I know. You just don't need food, you don't need drink, you don't need question, you just need to look at people, right? Uh, cool. Okay. Ah, that's beautiful. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Ah. <laughs> Sorry? Same last two years? Oh, okay. Just look like that. Evening, 
evening, all the cats look black. <laughs> yeah, when I see you, I look younger, huh? I'm so happy, that's why I became younger. So many beautiful people affect me. <laughs> all your light, your radiate, your radiate, how's it? your radiant smile and everything make me feel good. So I probably feel younger, look younger, huh? Uh -huh. But yesterday I have two grandsons. Just discovered I had two grandsons. <laughs> I didn't even know their name. <laughs> My sister told me. <laughs> Her daughter has two sons. And she was a baby when I saw her, and now she has two sons already. <laughs> And in Vietnam, if my sister daughter have two sons, not only she became grandma, I became also grandma. Just by the way, can you imagine that? Man, talking about feeling old. <laughs> two grandsons came up here out of nowhere, <laughs> wanting candies and all that stuff. <laughs> Five years old already. Another one is smaller. You never know when you have grandsons in Vietnam, if you don't see your sister or brother for a long time, suddenly you became grandma <laughs> or grandpa. They would call you also grandma, yeah. <clears throat> but I have plenty anyway. Huh? Okay, if you guys don't have any question, you want to go sleep now? No? What shall we do? Huh? What else stories do you want me to tell you? Oh, talking about dog, forgot to tell you something. <laughs> this afternoon, I said to the kids, if you want to get, or you, if you want to get dog, or get the six months old, you know, because they're easier to train. But actually, it depends on what kind, you know. Like I had one dog also, only three months old, I had one. When I got it, and, and he's so good trained, he's so beautiful. So perfect. So sometimes the younger the better, you know, you can can make him become like you. Yeah. Can influence him also. It depends, huh? So it doesn't matter really. <laughs> you have to fall in love, you know, before you get the dog or the cat. So it's not just six months. Six months is just people advise like that. It's better, you know. He can control his own move uh, bowel movement better. Okay. But maybe he's already too set in his habit, you know, some dog, very difficult to train also. So a young, young dog is okay. Yeah. All right, enough with dog. I know, I like my dog. My dog is a lovely dog. <laughs> yeah, who else? Uh, something says story? You want to tell a story? Come here. <laughs> I have a poodle who loves to play football with me all the time, a little poodle. The one I rescue, I told you, from the pound. He plays football. But he has a little problem with his teeth because he has no more teeth. So every time he wants to fetch it, it takes a long time. But he tries hard, he loves to. And whenever, sometimes I go into the shower, He's so attached to me, although we have many people who take care of him too now and like, you know, different people sometimes. So attached to me. Every time I'm home or every time I'm around, he just don't think of anything else, don't play with any other dog or other people, just hang around me, love to stretch out and put his thumb thumb up, you know, for me, and I have to rub it. Whenever he come near, he just straight up. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, he loves, he live and die for Tom Tom Rock, you know. <laughs> and then we play football with his forever grabbing, but he's getting good now. <laughs> Before he doesn't know how, now he plays very well. He plays with feet and mouth, everything. <laughs> and when, I, when I'm in a shower, you know, he couldn't go inside the shower, but he wait outside the shower door. Whenever I open the shower, he drop the ball in right away and wait. <laughs> and if I don't pick the ball up and throw him out, he just sit there and wait like. <laughs> yeah, if you look at him, if you look at him at that time, you think he's a statue. 
not a dog. He don't move one eyelashes. Just look at the ball, like hypnotizing, you know. He thinks the ball will move by itself if he keep looking at it. <laughs> like this. <laughs> keep waiting and waiting. Sometimes I'm playing with him, sometimes I'm not. Because he knows if I walk out of the shower, I can't escape. I don't always like to play. I run around somewhere else. So he waits until I open the shower door, he drops right in there. <laughs> All the time. So I have to close my bathroom. If I don't remember to close, he come in, in front of the shower door, waiting there. The moment I open, he drop, boom, <laughs> and then wait for me to play. <laughs> and if I don't pick it up, he just stand there forever. Sometimes I'm really fed up. I say, I'm not picking it up. <laughs> I'm not. I really am serious today. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> and I just sit in there forever. <laughs> and then I went to bed, turn off all the light, and then he finally said, <sighs> and then he went pick up his ball, <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> he's a comedian by birth. <laughs> you don't know, he's a comedian. Just look at him, you laugh all day. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Lucky. He was sick last time, uh, like four or five weeks ago. He has been sick since he came to me because he, he was sick, you know, before that and I've been nursing him to life. He was sick again one time. Uh, what was what the problem? Oh, that was the problem that the doctor did not discover before. No, he brought it with him. So anyway, I, he has bladder problem and he pee, you know, inconsequently everywhere. So I suspect he has a bladder problem, but the doctor say no. The other doctor say no. So I brought it to another doctor. I tell him definitely he must have some infection. So that doctor have a test again, you know, x-ray, and then he has a bladder problem. And I, I'm afraid he infect other dogs. You know? <laughs> I keep him separately for four weeks. Oh, he was miserable. <laughs> so, so I had to come and play football with him every day, almost. <laughs> keep him happy for a while. Uh, and that's not the point. We brought him to the doctor and we have to leave him there. Sometimes you have to leave the dog there if it is a long, some long uh, sometimes they have to uh, sedate them to do an uh, operation or whatever, or check inside the stomach. Yeah. So we left him there and I promised to come back. He has RV in his arm. No, RV? Yeah, RV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the drip, drip, drip? Yeah. <laughs> On the four leg here. He still have a little shape here, so it's not equally grown yet. And I came in, and the nurse gave him some uh, uh, some food to eat, but the food has chicken in it. It's special, made for this kind of sickness. They don't want him to eat any other kind in case too much calcium and all that. No good for his bladder. So he gave us his food. He didn't want to eat at all because he eat vegetarian at home. Yes, doesn't eat at all. So the nurse say, well, look like he's still not well. If he doesn't eat, I cannot t let you take him home. I was coming and sit with him on the floor and play with him, and thinking that the RV is almost done, I'm going to take him home. She said, look like he's not eating. If he's not eating, it's no use. So I said to him, lucky, look here, I know it's not good but just eat so that we can take you home, okay? And he eat, 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 finish. Finish in two seconds. I tell him I'm responsible. Don't worry about the meat. He eat right away. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> oh, the nurse said, ah, good boy. Hmm. And then she saw that, so she brought another <laughs> bowl for him. <laughs> Bring it to him, say, eat more, eat more, good for you. <laughs> he don't eat. He left it there standing. So I said to the nurse, he ate already, it's enough. I think it's okay. So the nurse left and don't say nothing. The doctor came back and the doctor said, huh? He didn't eat. Oh. I don't think he can go home if he didn't finish this. And then he eat. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> finish in two seconds again. <laughs> waiting, waiting. The doctor said, okay, i probably come back later, still wait for the RV to finish. So I sit on the floor and play with him and all that, waiting, nursing him, you know, pet him. 
and waiting and waiting and waiting. And about, he said, another an hour or so. Yeah, we see. And then she came back, an hour later, she came back. He came to, to the doctor, lick her hand and give the paw. <laughs> Take the RV off, you know. <laughs> yes, before that he didn't do anything. But the hour passed. He knows it's time. He come, click, click, and then give the ball. The ball with the RV, with the drip, drip. <laughs> hey, look at him. <laughs> oh my God, you don't know half of what the things the animal do. I'm shocked sometimes of what they understand. Uh, so many instant like that, you know. I always have to, I always explain to them what's going on and what's going to happen, so they are never so shocked or never worried or anything. They understand, you have to explain to your animals. Yeah. So before I bring something else home, I tell them, there's another animal coming, okay, guys? Be ready, welcome and love, okay? Yeah, everybody okay, huh? <laughs> yeah. And so when I bring him home and make a tour around the house, this is okay, this is okay, this is to pee, this is not, 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 taboo, taboo, taboo. <laughs> and I understand. <laughs> and today there's another dog who, who is sick, he's new also. Sometimes new dog, they got sickness from somewhere else, you know, from the kennel or some having other animals around, so they're sick. But they don't show right away the first day, it come later. So he, he kind of get a cold or something, maybe cold. Or, or get effect, infected by some dog outside. Sometimes they run around. Don't have to be in contact with dog, just on the grass, you know? So he got sick. And he didn't want to eat, he didn't want to drink or anything. Uh, he drank when he didn't eat, he has fever. And he lay there. Normally he's hyperactive, you know, one of those three dogs <laughs> that had to move to Detroit. <laughs> uh, but he was just laying there. And they come and pick him up. Just this afternoon, and pet him. Say, what's wrong? What's wrong? He don't even talk to me. And I say, hey, guy. We want you to stay alive, okay? That's why I brought you here. So you better take care of yourself, huh? We do love you. Don't do anything terrible, huh? <laughs> don't do anything nonsense, silly, huh? <laughs> so he wake up right away. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and I drink, drink water. Uh, he still has fever though, but he, he has the will to live now. <laughs> because it was strange. Yesterday he was okay, and then I didn't take care of him all day. Two days now I neglected him, I guess. He feel rejected. Evening I come home, don't have time, just give some snack, and then everybody go to different room, sleep. So he probably feel bad or something, I don't know. So I tell him, okay, okay, don't, don't, don't do anything silly, huh? <laughs> we want you to live, huh? We love you, huh? <laughs> You better live and be a good dog, uh, reclaim the good name for your race. Because that race of dogs is a bad race, Rottweiler. <laughs> so he right away, okay, you know, get up, <laughs> uh, drink water, and go pee right away. <laughs> yeah. And then I say, okay, still we will we go take you to doctor. We will take you to the doctor and take care of you. The doctor might take a little blood from you, he pick a little, it doesn't hurt that much, and then he might give you some injection or he might not, or he might give you pills or something. You bear with it. After a while you come back and you'll be okay. Then you'll be healthy again. And he seemed okay, happy. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we send him to the doctor. Should be okay now, better. Uh, they understand more than you think. He's just three months old, just came. But when I tell him no, he dropped. When I tell him drop it, he dropped right away. He loves slippers, smell, bath socks, old socks and all that. He loved. Mm. Oh, heaven help. You know, stinky slippers, you know. Long time, oh, he loved. Yeah, take it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> lick, 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 <laughs> drooling inside and all that. I said, drop it, and then he dropped right away. Only three months old, never been trained. Always been in the crate, so small like this. Yeah, but I train him on paper, he does it. So quick, so quick. Three months old only, and a bad kind of dog. Everybody knows what Rottweiler is, right? 
I told you already, no? I did not? Oh, never mind. There are many types of dogs. <laughs> there are pet dogs, there are hunting dogs, there are guard dogs. Guard dogs are bad dogs. Guard dogs are bad dog and good dog too. And he's the worst kind. Yeah. So say to him, you better reclaim the name for your race, eh? Hey? That's why you are here. So I, he's cool. Yeah. Sometimes I have to coach him, you know. I say, hey, just do that. It's a good man's stuff, you know. Do it right here, not over there. <laughs> and then he does it. Yeah, he pees. <laughs> Otherwise, he want to run out. I said, just do it and then go. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> and then he, he does. Yeah. It does help to talk. <laughs> The animals. You talk, but you give picture also inside, so they understand. They understand more inside the telepathy picture. Yes, but they do understand verbal language too. Can you imagine? They're so more gifted than us in this aspect. Yeah, not that they are better than us. They just more gifted in different way. Just like men and women are equal. Just women are gifted in different way, and men are gifted in different way, yeah? So if men try to do a woman's job, it's a disaster. Women try to be a man's job, is, you know, it doesn't work. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> so nowadays we do it all topsy-turvy, huh? Okay, any other question? Are the Chinese? Chinese? Ah, okay. If the English people don't ask, let the Chinese come up. Can you make way for three people? <laughs> you can sit behind here if you want. <laughs> Are the Chinese sit behind? Mm. Oh my God! It's so nice to had to have had the rain, huh? It's cool off, huh? Refreshing too and clean. Ah, oh, yeah. It was Ah, 不然放一点师父的录音带啊小声音的哎不愿听音乐随便听自己讲经愿打坐像好玩一样像听经一样然后等一下这样顺便打坐 在以前呢，还没有印心之前呢，我常梦见师父，印心之后就没有了。我印心之后看到了，还要梦他吗？OK，谢谢师父。就说说，另外一个问题是我工作，我做美容，啊，那个做飞手，那个按摩，我发现有
。还有我先生在两年多前，他开过刀，他是做医学研究的教授。那现在呢，就好像说，如果我开车的时候，他喜欢指挥我。呃，怎么走怎么走？嗯，那有时候是错的，那懂。我怎么办呢？我为了生口音要干净，有时候我好像被会被他拉去。我我常常警惕之，我的意思就是说，我应该听他的呢，还是？好，你照样就对着做啊，不然的话，等两个对，有时候要绕很多圈，可是他生气呀、啊。啊，你不用啊，你跟你跟他很甜美的，撒娇一下嘛。你不要，不，不是不行，不是不行，有效吗？应该是有效。对呀、啊，就做嘛。那那是不是上帝叫他来让我学习爱心呐、啊？让我学习。哎呀，不用想那么复杂嘛。哦、<笑>能做什么？自选最好的方法嘛。哎，吵架又不是好东西，你不想的话，那你用小叫嘛，就是像延续一样，有什么不好呢？嗯、啊，大家和平就好了。用什么办法都没关系，何况用那种很甜美的呢？没有，嗯，没有什么钱呢，不需要钱的，也不需要用功什么嘛。如果你认为这样有效，你就用啊，啊，跟他小叫一下说 ，Honey，I think this way is better <笑>。开玩笑了，你这样讲，他认为你神经。这样，这样他一定很喜欢。他会喜欢这样，对对,对好，那那就你用他的弱点控制他嘛，<笑>嗯 ，OK， 谢谢。哎呀，男孩子是有这个弱点呐、啊，你一撒叫他就软趴趴了，你讲什么都没用啊，一撒叫他就受不了了，他就死了。<笑> OK， 是吗？嗯，男孩子。<笑> OK， 下一场。Can't sit forever. Go home. Huh? Go sleep. Okay. <laughs>